this is a laundry room in the lower level of my client's home and after living with the builder finishes for the first few years she decided that it was time to upgrade some of the features and look of the space. When I first started this project, there were the fantastic white cabinets, but there was laminate countertops, a stainless steel sink, a fresh white look, but it was void of a lot of personality. This is a really functional space for the homeowner. Not only is it a fairly good sized laundry room, but it also houses a lot of storage and she even uses it for crafts and wrapping at this old work table. So she was spending a fair bit of time in here and wanted to make it special. When I start a space like this, I do like to start with what's working functionally and what could use improvement. And one of the things that I really thought this space could use was a focal point for the sink and faucet. It's on this long wall of cabinetry and we just really needed something that drew you in and was also really practical. When I found that Blanco had released this new coal black finish for their live in sill granite sink, I thought it was a great high contrast option. The beauty of their sill granite sinks, they're very easy to maintain, they don't dent or scratch, and so they just make a perfect option for a space like this. And they also make the live in laundry sink extra deep. And so that makes it that much more functional for soaking clothing or filling up buckets or vases. It's just a really great size for a laundry sink. Silk granite sinks come in nine different colors and we chose the coal black because it really complemented that high contrast, really fresh and clean look that we were after for this space. I also love that Blanco sinks have these really beautiful accessories like this tray that keeps things from sitting at the bottom of the sink and it just cleans up counter space as well. I chose the Catrice Flexo faucet because I love that that black gooseneck detail tied in really nicely with the coal black sink and I love the bit of a sparkle from the chrome finish at the base. This faucet is so cool. It has an insulated hand spray and it attaches with a magnet so it makes it very easy to put back in place. One of the trends that we're seeing now in contrast to you know, the fancy hardware that was popular for many years is actually doing more understated cabinet hardware. And so we decided to do that here with a white enameled cabinet pole and it really helps to keep it more streamlined. Typically base cabinets are 24 inches deep, but when you're making them to accommodate the depth of a washer or dryer, you end up gaining about six or seven inches of depth. So rather than have this extra deep area around the sink, we decided to make use of it and actually build a small backsplash and shelf, and it becomes a great little display surface or a spot to lean something like this very useful laundry guide. It's such a great, easy reference to have this right at the ready when you're looking at clothing labels, and it just became a bit of a piece of art in this room. Because the room was quite neutral to start, we thought that the countertops would be a great place to introduce a new finish. So in looking for the right quartz, we found this faux concrete look, and it really adds a little bit of movement and a nice tone to the space that feels interesting and different from a typical laundry room counter. One of the things that I love about working with a smaller space is clients are often more inclined to take a bit more of a chance with a decorative finish like wallpaper or a bold pattern. And in this case, when I presented this block print inspired wallpaper, she loved the bit of blue. The white was still very fresh and uplifting for a laundry room and it just instantly added a bit of energy to this space. We were thrilled that this wallpaper also had a complimentary fabric that worked well for the Roman blind. It makes it easier and also it just feels a little bit more cohesive when things coordinate this well. One of the dilemmas that can occur when you're wallpapering a space is that the pattern doesn't always fall exactly where you want relative to outlets and switches. And so we found this brilliant solution that are plexiglass covers with little chrome toggles and they're a nod to a bit of a historic look while still allowing the pattern of the wallpaper to continue behind the switch. My client had very cleverly installed this wrapping station prior to me starting with the project and I loved the idea of making use of this wall space and it just sort of adds a little element of decoration too with beautiful wrapping paper and ribbons on display so we decided to mount that again once the room was all complete. My client has a beautiful collection of antique pine furniture and so this folding table found its perfect home here. It's very practical and adding an antique to even a modern high contrast space really helps to ground and make the room feel more interesting. 
my client was looking for a place to hang longer pieces to dry, like pants or dresses, and so we were able to make use of a valet rod in one of her taller cabinets that discreetly tucks away when she's not using it, but offers a little bit of hanging space for longer pieces. Because we were really happy with the existing hard finishes, like the cabinets and the floors, that allowed us to spend a little bit more on some of the decorative features that really helped to bring this space to life. 